Hello everyone and welcome to the 14th weekly update for Citybound. Today we will have to do with only audio because my camera refuses to work for longer than 2 minutes because it's too hot. So let me instead just tell you what I've been working on. The first thing that I did was to integrate the existing procedural building system with the new road system. So you can now have buildings next to curved roads, next to single lane roads or next to multi lane roads. The other thing that I worked on was to adapt the traffic simulation for the new road system. And as you can imagine that is pretty much a rewrite from the ground up. But I noticed that the new code will be much simpler because the new road system in principle is simpler. Because now all a car has to think about are the cars on its own lane or on adjacent lanes and it doesn't matter if those lanes belong to a road or to an intersection, it just works the same everywhere. So I hope that these simplifications in code also mean better performance, but I will have to see about that. So both of these things are still very much work in progress and there's nothing really interesting to see yet, so I won't show you anything. But instead let me use the opportunity of this video to talk about a general topic that I have been thinking about for a while now. And that topic is the design goals that I have for Citybound. Of course, since the beginning I knew that Citybound should be both a realistic city simulation as well as a fun game. And of course the fun part is the most important part, but I never really thought in detail how that would manifest or how I would achieve that. But this week I've given it a little more thought and I came to some interesting conclusions also thinking about all the other city games that I played and what I noticed there. So to illustrate my point let me use SimCity 4 and the new SimCity as examples. Because for me at least I always felt that getting started in SimCity 4 was really frustrating. It was hard to get a city going, you always had money problems or other issues. But once you sorted that out you had a really interesting late game where you could optimize for all kinds of different things and set different goals for yourself and, and I loved that but it also was really frustrating in the beginning, especially so for new players I guess. On the other hand, in the new SimCity it was kind of the other way around because it was very easy to get a city going, to start a city, it felt wonderful in the first couple hours. but. Then after a while you notice that it doesn't really have a late game and that of course you can try out different city layouts or city specializations but they're still kind of the same after a while. And the reason why it's simple in the first place is because the simulation in the new SimCity is so hollow in a way that it just allows you to do practically anything and it will work in some way. So what I want in City Bound is like a combination of the best of both, where you can start a city easily and you can quickly get into this flow, but without the simulation cheating or being ridiculously simplified. And on the other hand, I want there to be a very interesting late game. And the way in which I want to achieve that revolves around the behavior of the agents, because I think the ideal way for the agents to work is to be really forgiving when it comes to their basic needs. So even in complicated situations like their workplace is far away, the next shop is far away, they can still kind of make it work somehow, but without being unrealistic, like they will survive but they won't be very happy. So that allows the player to get a city started even when they aren't that experienced and to have something to build on, but then they have all this amazing opportunity to optimize everything and to set more ambitious goals for themselves, for example to make travel times for their citizens shorter or to improve health or to improve the environment or whatever you want to do. And as you know most of these things are actually in conflict with each other and it can become really interesting and difficult to balance them, but you will I think never have to fear the kind of dramatic failure that you had to fear in the older SimCity games as long as you don't do anything horribly wrong. So that's kind of the general thing that I will aim for, it is of course easier said than done, 
and I will see what that will mean in detail for the implementation of the citizen behavior, but at least I now have this guideline towards which I will work at all times. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed my rambling and I'm looking forward to your feedback on my ideas. So thank you all for watching or rather listening and see you all again next week.